Hey, what is this? The card of this class is real gloomy-like. What's going on? <laughs> There's this dark and somber aura coming from the corner of the room. <laughs> Oh god, here we go again. My name is Yui Kajiwara. I'm pretty quiet and sort of the introverted type, but Riko Ishida is the complete opposite. She's always pestering me for the way I am. Anyways, forget her. Hey, wanna hear something cool? I recently got a boyfriend. We're planning on living together after we graduate. Wow, really? You always get the best guys. I so envy you, Riko. Wish I could live with a guy. Boyfriend, huh? As a high school student and the quiet type, I had no thought of having a boyfriend. But then as time went on and years passed, I did eventually get a boyfriend. Oh gosh, uh, did I get here a little too soon? I wonder how she'll be dressed. Uh, are we looking forward to her? I'm Otomo Aoki, I'm 21 years old. So embarrassing saying this, but I never had a girlfriend until now. But I met this nice girl and this is our first date. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh no, don't worry about it. I just got here myself. Oh my gosh, the dress is so darn cute on her! Yeah, okay, uh, great. I'd wanna get going? Yeah, sure thing. Let's go. You mind if we, like, uh, uh hold hands? <laughs> yeah, sure, I like that. My heart was pounding like crazy, as I'm sure hers was too. We headed toward the shopping mall hand in hand. Huh? Seriously? <laughs> that you, Yui? Oh, Rico? Hello? Uh, who's that? Friend of yours? Yeah, kind of. She was my high school classmate. Oh my god, are you guys in a date or what? Yeah, that's right. Seriously? That gloomy old Yui has a boyfriend? Who would have thought? But I gotta say, you sure can pick them. This guy's just as depressive as you. What's with this girl? Bad molding Yui like that? Uh, would you mind not snapping photos of us without permission? <laughs> you guys are like the juriest couple I've ever seen. What are you worried about? Nobody cares about you guys. Please, I'd rather you didn't. Please delete it. Don't order me around. I can do what I like. Hey, I'm having a little party at my place. Wanna come? Besides, you two probably have nothing better to do, right? <laughs> I assure you, miss. We have always better things to do. We're on a date, so... Yeah, that's right. So thanks for the offer, but no thanks. Oh, please. I don't want to hear excuses. I'll only reduce you to my guy. Hey, Rico, who are these people? You remember her. She used to be in our class. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yui, it's been a while. I just invited them to my party. Yeah, well, we're not. I felt like we were being forced to go to this party of hers. One thing led to another, and we were somehow persuaded to go to this Rico's house for a party. Yeah, let's up the tension here, everyone. It's party foes. Yeah, cheers, everyone. Whoa, this wildness is not normal. Uh, I can never get used to this kind of stuff. She hasn't changed a bit. Come on, y'all, let's get some nice pics. Yeah, nice ones. Please, would you stop with the photos? If you don't mind, please don't point that thing this way. Man, she's as gloomy and boring as ever. Maybe we should take her pulse, huh? <laughs> What's a photo or two? Nobody will be looking at you anyways. You guys are nobodies. <laughs> it's not about that. Don't you agree, darling? No way we're gonna be like them, right? We killed Lean Swords her boyfriend, trying to get his agreement, but something unexpected happened. What the hell are you talking about? Nice to be all animated and outgoing, but I didn't realize you were such an awful person. To be honest, I'm totally disappointed in you. I want to break up with you. With that, her boyfriend stood and left the room. Uh, wait, pardon me? Oh my god, what the hell is wrong with him? He really has nerve dumping me. Don't you guys agree? Uh, yeah, right. I know, really. Oh boy, he just ruined everything. Party's over, guys. I want everyone out of here. Sorry. Not sure why, but we were somehow safe from further humiliation. I was ultra frustrated to be humiliated in front of all my friends. I couldn't still think about it. That guy, he really had nerve dumping me for Christ's sake and getting dumped like that in front of those two glue mongers. What a damn disgrace. Ugh, darn it, I can't stand this. Oh yeah, I got a great 
great idea. I decided to upload a photo of Yui's boyfriend on the high school group chat page. Hey, check out this photo of Yui's guy. He turned out to be just as gloomy as her. <laughs> Whoa, super nice couple. I hadn't uploaded much on that chat page, but I got a response right away. Oh my god, is this who I think it is? Is this seriously legit? What the hell is this all about? What's with everyone? Why the wow response? Huh? Are you serious? You don't know? That's Motomu. He's that actor model guy. Real popular now. Holy smokes, you looked out, Rico. You gotta see him in the flesh. Hold it a sec. What? Are they serious? This is a joke, right? Turns out that Yui's guy was a famous actor and model. Yui and I returned home, but we felt sort of nervous about what just transpired. Really sorry about getting all mixed up in this. Didn't mean to. It's not your fault, Yui. Yeah, but I wonder if everything will be okay. You know, after those photos and all. Yeah, didn't expect to get all those photos taken. I'm really not in a position to get photos taken of me on a date. It was all supposed to be clandestine. That's it, Motomu. Great pose. Could you move your wrist? Could you move toward me? Look out with me. Yeah, like that. Wonderful. I was working as a model for a while, and I was getting some recognition lately. And on top of that, Mr. Akakura, who heads Akakura Corporation, took a liking to me and backed me up financially. What do you think of doing a little, uh, acting? I want you to join the Akabex Talent Agency. You don't really hit it big, man. Thanks, sir. That would be great. I really wanted to give acting a try. That's when I met Yui. Pretty tough day, I bet. Here, have some water. You look like you need it. Thanks so much. So kind of you. I tried avoiding her. I wanted to just focus on work. But when she approached me and we talked, I couldn't hold back my feelings towards her. Yui, I think I have a real crush on you. Would you mind going out with me? That was just a couple of months ago. I don't think Rico noticed who you were, so we'll all probably work out. Yeah, right. I just hope it's true. But that feeling of dread wouldn't go away. Mm, a message from one of my fans. This photo, that's you, isn't it? Oh, no. Ugh, I was afraid of this. The photo that the fans sent was the one Rico had taken earlier of the party. Oh, God, take a look at this. This photo had been shared a whole bunch of times. What do we do? The photo had gone viral on social media sites. Oh, hell, this is not good. What do we do? Hello, Akabex Talent Agency. Akakura here. Is Matomu going out with some woman now? Is it true or is it just a rumor? Thanks for calling, but no comment. Goodbye. I'm sorry, but we have no comment regarding this issue. No comment. We're currently looking into it. Ah, will these people just stop calling for God's sake? I can't get any work done here. My name's Tokyo Akakura. I'm heir to the Akakura family. Yeah, that's right, I'm mega rich. I stopped in at Ak I stopped in at Akabex to get a little work done, but the phones were ringing off the hook. The place was in complete mayhem. What the hell is all of this? Oh, hey, Matomo. What's up? Come on in, man. Uh, Mr. Akakura? I'm sorry to bother you, sir. It was all our fault, this chaos. Eh, it wasn't your fault, Matomu. It was bound to happen sooner or later. All we can do now is just wait until things cool down. I'm tired. I tried not going out in public unless I really had to. I was just waiting for this whole thing to blow over. Then one day... Hello there. Nice to see you again, Matomu. Uh, you're that girl from the other day. How did you find out where I lived? <laughs> I have my ways. Did a little research. <laughs> research? Seriously? Uh, what is it you want? I really shouldn't be talking to you. I was totally taken aback by the appearance of Rico. I didn't expect to see her here. You're one cool dude, Matomu. I can see why you're an actor. <laughs> Seems such a waste for a guy like you to be dating that gloomy old Yui. What do you say, Matomu? Break up with that boring nobody and go out with me? What do you say? Huh? Excuse me? I couldn't believe what she just asked me. You're more suited to me than that Yui. She's no fun at all. Uh, please back off, would you? Just hear me out. Did you know that during high school she was such a loner? She never had a boyfriend. What will the fans think of when they find out they have such a run-of-the-mill dull girlfriend, huh? I really don't care what people think. Anyway, Yui has a lot of great things about her. She's no run-of-the-mill girl like you say. Certainly not dull. 
Oh, yeah? For example? Uh, like she makes great curry and rice. That's it? I can make curry way better than her. As a matter of fact, I'll make you some tomorrow and bring it over. No, you don't have to do that. Well, she just stormed out of there and said what she had to say and just took off without even listening to what I had to say. The next day, true to her word, she brought a pot of curry over. Sorry to keep you in suspense. <laughs> I made that curry, I promise you. You, uh, you actually brought it over? Hello, Rico. Oh, you're here too, I see. Sorry you to tell you this, but after you get a taste of my curry... Well, she came all the way here. Couldn't just throw her out, so... Figured it wouldn't hurt to at least try a little of her special curry. But it was easier said than done. The look of it was uh, far from appetizing. A little too soupy, no thickness to it. But you never know, right? It just may taste super delicious. I was a little hesitant, but I gave it a try. Dad! <coughs> what is it? Was it that good? I knew you loved to eat. Are you out of your mind? This curry tastes horrendous! I was so shocked by the awful taste that I blurted out the truth. Huh? Was it that awful? The potatoes aren't even done. The carrots are half cooked and hard as block of wood and the soup is watery. This isn't fit for human consumption. What? I worked on it all day. How could you say that? I'm sorry, Rico, but we're really not made for each other. Hold on a second. No way that my special curry is that dreadful as you say. Okay, then. You eat some of Yui's curry from last night and tell me what you think. I served her a plate of Yui's curry that she had made the night before. This is what curry is. Oh my god, what the hell is this? This is super delicious. You yeah, we made that. Pretty delicious, huh? Yeah, gotta say, it ain't bad. As a matter of fact, it's yummy. I never thought curry would be so tasty. I've never had anything like this before. Do you realize now that I could never go out with you? I love Yui, there's no denying that. No way, I'm way more desirable than her. She seems to have accepted defeat and left my house looking totally disappointed. Well, that was the end of that, or so I thought. It just doesn't make sense. How could you be better than me? I'm more as tight than that gloomy Yui. I know, all I have to do is prevent them from dating. Hey kid, those people over there, the guy and that girl, they said they would love to play with you. That guy's a pro ball player. I heard he can throw a 200 kilometer fastball. You really should play with the guy. Seriously? Let's go and ask him. Hey, you guys, let's play some catch. Uh, you want to play with us? Okay, kids, get over there. Ready? Here goes. I was a little bewildered by this sudden request from some kid, but Yui seemed game. Yeah, over here. Hey, thanks for playing with us. It was super fun. You got it, kid. See you around. Be careful going home. I wonder if it's going to be kind of like this when we have kids someday. Yeah, probably. Would be nice, huh? We stood there together and wondered what it would be like to be married. What's going on? They look even happier now. But Rico just would not give up. Hey, what do you know? Looks like Matomi's birthday is pretty soon. Well, I'm just gonna have to buy him a birthday present and surprise him. Ugh, Rico, what is it today? I just stopped by to give you a birthday present. Happy birthday. Uh, yeah, right, thanks. It's a Louis Vuitton necklace. This is a well-known brand. I'm sure he'll appreciate this. <clears throat> uh, I appreciate the thaw, but I'm allergic to metals, so I can't wear any jewelry. Really sorry. Why don't you wear it? Huh? You're kidding, right? On the other hand, the present from Yui was... It's nothing much. I hope you enjoy it. It was some handmade bread. Low on sugar and all organic. It also came with a nice letter from Yui. Hey, that's just... Huh? That's just Popper's gift. Bread? Seriously? You happy with that? Thanks so much, Yui. This is the best present in the world. I'm really watching my diet and working out all the time, so this kind of present is the best. You always know what's best for me. Thanks for saying that. To be honest, I already have enough money, so I would rather receive presents that's more emotional and warm-hearted. Yui understands this perfectly. As for that problem regarding the photos, that whole scandal just won't go away. I can't believe this! There are even more photos of me and Yui. Rico uploaded every photo she took. Yeah, this is getting out of hand. I'm not sure what we should do. All those photos from Rico's party were in there and spread all over social media, especially on Manister. Mr. Akakura, 
I can't cause trouble for you anymore. Please, just let me admit it. Let's just tell our fans I have a girlfriend. They'll accept it, or they won't. Let's let fate decide. Yeah, maybe you're right. Let's go public with this, and let the fans decide. Thanks, sir. This is for the best. So the following day, we put up a segment on ManyTube, announcing that we were officially dating. Oh, who's the cute girl standing with Matomu? She looks so different from those snapshots at the party. You're really beautiful, Yui. Thanks for saying that, Matomu. That makes me feel great. In actuality, Yui was an actress here at a... In actuality, Yui was an actress here at Akabek's talent agency. But she really wasn't the outgoing type and decided to do more background work, helping with photo shoots and such. After we made the announcement, we got a whole slew of messages encouraging on us. After we made the announcement, we got a whole slew of messages encouraging us on. Whoa, that couple is super cool. They're perfect for each other. I'm so glad everyone accepted us. I know, isn't it wonderful? After that, we didn't have to hide, and we could go anywhere we liked. Why me? I'm not supposed to lose against that Yui. What's this world coming to for God's sake? And, and I don't even have a boyfriend. Thanks for watching till the end, everyone. Boy, not easy being famous, eh? Be careful using social media, everyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Looking for more interesting stories and videos? Then come check out other videos from Mani Mani people here. We'd love to hear your thoughts, too. Drop a line in the comments below. See you soon!